Old Man Bar. A play by Greg Drozdek. Greg sits at a table with a bottle of beer. An empty easel stands next to him. Greg. I grew up in an old man bar. No TV, cards in the back room, pool table, cheap beer and whiskey. It was a great place to grow up, a great place for a story. A lot of times I'm still in that bar. Not the real one because that one's long gone. No, I'm in the old man bar of memory. Still a great place for stories. The graces, my lovely ladies of the story, bring them back to me like ghosts. I see them still, hear them. Try not to forget, no matter how far I get. A woman comes on with a picture of Walter. She puts it on the easel and sits at the table. Greg. This first one's Walter. When she's ready, she becomes Walter. Walter. Music, yeah, man, it's all music, but it ain't all good music. You know what I'm saying? I am asking you, do you know what I'm saying? I want an answer. Okay. You say people ain't listening. You're right. They can't hear themselves. Okay, you're listening. So listen some more. I'm telling you, you don't got to be nothing but you. That's the first thing. The first thing after you figure out who the hell you are. You don't figure that out. You're in trouble, my man. But let's say you do. Okay, you're one of the few that know you. Don't stop there. Too many people stop there. You got to be something with that somebody you found. If you a hustler, be a hustler. If you a square, an artist, whatever you got to be that motherfucker. You hear me, boy? Don't make no bad music with your life. That's just noise. Noise don't last. Now, you remember what I told you. She leaves. A second woman comes on with a picture of Dom. She puts it on the easel and sits at the table. When she is ready, she becomes Dom. Dom. I knew a guy. Took a class after the war. You could go for free if you served. It was in poetry. Mostly they rhymed or were about love. I know because I lived in a bunk under him in a flop house in the Bowery. One of the nicer ones, but still, a flop house. I looked at his notes, his books. I liked some of the poems. He said the new stuff, it don't got a rhyme. I like that. Would a fucking rhyme all the time. He started writing the shit. I would read it. I didn't get it, but I didn't have no education, so the guy died. We were all out drinking. We had our checks from the war, and we were both fuck-ups, but he was trying to do something. Me, I was just chasing broads. There was a lot after the war. The men didn't come back. You wear your uniform or even a little pin fucking ribbon. After a while, you didn't have to wear nothing. The war widows would find the soldiers. Anyway... It was easy to get laid for a while. The thing was, all they wanted to talk about, they all wanted to talk after. I hate to talk after. But you had to. I admit it, I did get a lot of shit off my chest that way. The Japs I killed, fucking tough, crazy, tough, fucking, they were. Anyway, the guy dies. My roommate, Tom, got hit by a delivery truck crossing the Bowery. He was drunk. Died instantly. Anyway, the flop out threw up, flop house threw out all his shit. Only I had one of his poetry books. I kept it all these years. Great American poetry. I haven't read it yet, but I might one day. I liked that the guy was trying to improve himself. Too bad he croaked. Food is fast, so better than a lot of guys in the war. Fuck. I'm glad I didn't die like that. One guy, I held him a long time before he closed his eyes. No, no, hold on. I, I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about the broads. I had one after the war. She could cook. Wouldn't let you make her unless you sat down for a meal first. Great food. Great piece of ass. The only thing was the fucking questions about the war. She got mad I never asked her nothing. She had ways of dropping information. Husband, brother, dad. I don't ask people nothing. If they need to say something, sooner or later they say 
I got tired of the war stories, so one day I got the book and I picked out a poem, a short one. It took me a long time to learn that fucking poem. I said, honey, I'm going to share something with you. And I told her the poem. Robert Frost, the one with the snow and the woods and he wants to die, but he's got shit to do. She stopped letting me fuck her after that. There were a few more meals, but no more fucking, so. She's probably dead now, who knows. But poems, I gotta say, if you think of them like songs, that's a lot less of a mind thing, more of a heart thing. The hard things, they stick with you longer. Mind things are good. There's a place for them, but not too much for mind things. They'll fuck you every time. She leaves. Third woman comes out with a picture of John. She puts it on the easel and sits on the table. When she's ready, she becomes John. John. The dreams I had. Not all of them turned to shit. I ain't gonna lie. My breasts ain't all polished. I'm tired, but I ain't crazy yet. One day, I'll go off my head. Lose it, you know. But I might not live that long, so... Sit down, don't worry. Mick, tell the kid I ain't crazy. What's that look for? Okay, fuck you. See what you get next time you want to go to the track. This guy is a degenerate gambler. Watch out for him. Now, tell the kid I ain't crazy. See, I told you. You ain't been here before. I can see that. Go on, grade your papers. You're a teacher. Fuck me. Good for you. Poor but happy, huh? Have a drink, Mick. Get this big kid with the sad eyes a drink. Look at him, a teacher. You look like a thug. I bet you got a little thug in you. You a wop? Mm. I'm half wop. No better thing. Half Italian. Good for you. What's the other half? Polak. Shit. Well, they work hard. Mick, get the kid a drink. Get him a wine. You drink wine, no? Good. Too early for whiskey. Trust me. Save whiskey for later. Get that jug over there, Mick. You'll like it. It's a little sweet. Put some life in you. you gotta grade all those. Tell you what. Give me one. Let me take a look. Shit. Look at all this. Like I was saying, you ain't been here. Because anybody would have told you not to sit there. Sit here. Good. You better. You're better off there. Trust me. You know what happened on that stool? Tom the Book, a good guy. Never hurt anybody for fun. He has a beer and a shot, asks me the time, then falls off that stool. Dead. You believe that? I wonder if he knew he was going to die. Ask him for the time. Before he hit the floor, who knows? We had a good party for him. You would think him going around, getting the screws on people all these years. You would think the place would be empty. Fuck that guy, but no. We had a lot of people in here. Nobody had nothing bad to say. Guys with fingers missing, limping old motherfuckers. A whole crew of fuck-ups. He beat them up and they didn't pay, but just shows that he was a good guy. He could be a bad guy and still good somewhere inside. I got a lot of good people. They're assholes. That's another story. Let me look at this paper. A kid typed all this shit. I never typed nothing. You should give him an A just for that. But that's too nice, right? You got to be strict, but fair too, like a coach or something, a sergeant. What'd you do? Let's say, I want to be a teacher. Teach me. I ain't too old to learn. Mick, give the kid a fucking drink. Let me read this fucking thing. Where's my glasses? You want a whiskey? That one shit. No? Mick, do you remember to close the cap on the jug? No. Don't drink it. No, I can see it's no good. Let me taste it. No. It ain't no good, but still. I'll kill it for you. There you go. Even bad wine is wine. Now, let me read this fucking thing. I can do this. No problem. Let's see what he says. Maybe it's good. Let's see. She leaves. The first woman comes on with a picture of Henry. She puts it on an easel and sits at the table. When she's ready, she becomes Henry. Three black kids. I'm waiting for the train. It's late and I'm bullocks. Give us your wallet, and your man's out with a knife, a big fucker too. And I'm cursing myself for drinking me last bob and taking the feckin' train home. And now I'm here with the bad boys, three of them making a circle, and the one with the big knife. 
I'm after kicking them and taking off. The others come up, but I'm across the tracks or watching for the, tr the rail, and I see a rat scurrying away, and it, it ain't for me, but the train boy. I get up that, on that platform just in time. What the fuck I'm doing, I don't know. When I saw that rat hustling his little ass and heard the train coming, when I saw myself there, a raspberry jam pancake on the tracks, what the rat's eating what's left. I didn't have no poetic revelation, boy. -o. I didn't see me whole life flash in front of me eyes. That's a crock of shite. I didn't see me parents. I didn't see me dog Frisco from when I was a kid. Not some angel or God voice either. No, listen to this. What I saw when I thought I was about to die was me ex-wife who left me after cheating on me with my best mate while I was cooking the meals and paying the rent. I see her face, the one who won't even open a Christmas card but sends it back in a manila envelope. A name crossed out with a black marker. Fucking Kent. That's what gets me. You should be able to pick the face you see before you die. The shite you see before dying, it ain't angels or a good voice, boy -o. I can tell you that. It should be something grand. Don't wait for that. I can tell you now, it won't be there. That, I knew for sure. She leaves. The second one comes in with a picture of Ray. She puts it on the easel and sits down. When she's ready, she becomes Ray. I can smell you. You got that gym smell. Do me a favor. Let me smell your bag. I bet it's even stronger. Thanks, man. I love that smell. What's your name? Buy me a drink, Greg. It's good for your soul. If you don't want to, that's cool. Turn the old blind guy down. You see me here nursing this shit taste of warm beer, but that's not your fault. I understand. Well, thank you, Greg. That's all right. I'll have a Bex. Cheers. So, what gym you got that gym smell at? If you a fighter, I won't try to talk you out of it. I never let nobody talk me out of it, so. I can't see now, but I had me some great fights. I had women for a while, too. A lot of party time. Party time and gym time. It was good for a while, then. I wasn't good at nothing else, so. I don't know if it was a good trade, but it was my trade, so. We don't got to talk about it. That's not. Tell you what, if you got a dial up, plenty of song, pick a slow one. Go ahead. Thank you, Greg. Cheers. Greg. This last one's from an old woman who used to take care of me when I was a baby. Her name's Sophie. Third woman comes in. She carries a picture of Sophie, followed by the other two women. She turns into Sophie when she's ready, as Greg watches her. Sophie, my God, you look like your father. Come here, give me a kiss. You want a drink? Here, take mine. I'm drunk. Drink it for me. Fuck me. Looking at you hurts. I see your father. What a handsome fuck he was. Took me for a ride, he did. Left you with me and goes out with his other hussies. No diapers even for you. He used to wrap you in newspaper and tape. The words coming off on your little asshole red when I changed you. Look at you. Fuck me. You look like him. You're dark. You're rough. Look at you. You look like you break legs. That's all right. I know you get plenty running after you. I can see it. Only stay away from the married ones and the crazy ones. Trust me. Gregory, I used to hold you, feed you, change you. What did I ever get for loving you like you was mine? No, no, I ain't mad at you. I'm drunk. Don't listen to me. You're beautiful. God knows. I know too. Come here. Give me a kiss. Don't drink it if you don't want to. You don't need it. Come here. Give me a kiss. Good to see you. I swear to God, it is so good to see you here in front of me. I bless you with all my heart. I really do. She turns and walks away, follow the other women. Greg watches them go. He looks about him. End of play.